Hey everybody, Sarah Grillo here. Today I'm going to be talking about how to have a paper portfolio to talk about if you're going to an interview or another thing I'm going to discuss is how do you model out this sample portfolio. I myself, by the way, am an ex Lehman Brothers analyst and this model series is going to teach you everything that you would need to know to be able to discuss investments and portfolios credibly in an interview from a modeling perspective. So these videos are very technical, but if you don't have a technical background, they can be very insightful for you. And so I hope that you'll stay tuned. So how do you put together a sample portfolio? By the way, email me if you'd like me to send you a copy of mine. This is very outdated and I just ask that you don't make any investment decisions based on this information because I, I can't be held accountable. These aren't real models anymore. Okay. But what you'd want to do is get an Excel spreadsheet together and write the ticker and the name, whatever market value you're assigning, whatever weight as a component of the total portfolio that this ticker and this stock actually constitutes. I like to put the yield and then that enables me to come up with a weighted average yield for the portfolio. The reason is I'm a value investor. I like value stocks. so. Coming up with yields for each of these is really important in a situation like this. A value investor client is going to be looking for yield. That's why people invest in value stocks a lot of the times. The other thing is I have the PE ratio listed for each stock and then you could come up with like maybe an average PE for the portfolio. Again, this is because of my value tilt to my investing. Now. The other thing that's useful is if you write down the earnings date, the last earnings release for each of these companies, if you are, okay, so this is like a ton of work, okay? I repeat, this is going to be a ton of work. So if you're tracking a paper portfolio, maybe you don't have your own money to invest, you should be tracking a paper portfolio because that's the only way you're going to be able to get in an interview and talk and have people actually like, know that you know something about investments and that you actually can talk the talk and walk the walk, not just say that you're interested in it, okay? Having a project like this that you can show to people is really important, folks, but this is a ton of work. You should be following, if you're making a recommendation about a particular stock or bond or whatever it is, you have to be following that security. So I have in my sample portfolio like 27 names or something like that. I wouldn't recommend going that deep. I would say maybe like you'd have to be able to talk about between like five to seven stocks credibly. So there wouldn't really be any reason to have more than that in your model portfolio. But whatever it you do have in there, you have to have the earnings last earnings date and you'd better know what that last earnings release was. Now, I myself never really went by earnings. I'm more of a long-term investor, but you really should know what it is that the analysts on the street are saying about the stock, whether or not you agree, because the hype and the opinion is unfortunately what's going to, at the end of the day, really be driving the stock price. So you got to know what people are thinking about it. So show the company that you're up on the earnings. You can go to the investor relations tab on any company, any publicly traded company's website, and it will show you what the last earnings release was and what the future earnings releases are there too. And you should be able to get all of the SEC reports from that website as well. So there's, um, you know, a component of balancing or, or managing the portfolio you should have for the market value and what the weighting is, you should be able to explain that in an interview as well. Okay, well, I'm, I've weighted this stock this weighting or that stock that weighting and, you know, in the next quarter we're going to rebalance and given what's going to happen with the economy, which I think is blah, blah, I might underweight or overweight this versus the benchmark. You should have also like a tab that, that shows what the weighting of the portfolio is in terms of the industries that are in the portfolio versus what the industries are of whatever benchmark it might be like the S and P or, or whatever it might be. Okay. So this is really exciting stuff. A lot of work. Email me folks. If you'd like me to actually send you 
a sample model portfolio and I'm happy to do that would love to be a resource for you as you pursue your interviews and try to get on your quest to the buy side folks here's my email just would ask you know don't sell these and don't use these to actually make investment recommendations as I have not updated this in quite a while thank you everybody for tuning in love to hear any of your questions go ahead and hit me up uh, here to this website or send me an email directly if you have any questions on anything that I've discussed today. Thank you everybody. Professor Sarah Grillo here. Stay tuned for more.